So, this is why Ellipse online learning platform and in this video, we will be exploring the journey that water takes as it moves through our planet's ecosystem. From raindrops to rivers, from lakes to oceans, we will take a deep dive into the science behind the water cycle and learn how it shapes our environment. Basically, in this video, we will be talking about water cycle. So let's get started. To begin this, let's look at the basics of water cycle. At its core, the water cycle is a continuous process that involves the movement of water from the surface of the earth to the atmosphere and back again and again. This process is driven by sun's energy, which heats the earth's surface and causes water to evaporate from bodies of water, plants and soil. This water vapor then rises into the atmosphere and condenses into cloud, where it eventually falls back to earth as precipitation. Now let's take a closer look to the primary process that drive the water cycle, evaporation and transpiration. Evaporation is the process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas or vapor, typically due to exposure to sunlight and warm temperatures, and transpiration is the process by which water is released from plants through tiny pores in their leaves. Together, this process contributes to the overall movement of water throughout the water cycle. Once water vapor is in the atmosphere, it can undergo a process known as condensation. This occurs when water vapor cools and turns back into liquid form, forming clouds in the process. Eventually, these clouds become heavy enough to release their moisture back to the surface of the earth in the form of precipitation. Precipitation can take many forms including rain, snow, sleet and hail and it can be have a major impact on our environment. Finally, let's look at why the water cycle is so important to our planet. Water is essential for life and water cycle helps to ensure that our planet's ecosystem have a steady supply of clean water. It also plays a critical role in regulating Earth's temperature as the process of evaporation helps to cool the Earth's surface. Additionally, the water cycle helps to shape our planet's geography as it leads to the erosion of soil and the formation of rivers, lakes and oceans. And that's wrap on our video on the water cycle. We hope that you gained a deeper understanding of this fascinating process and how it impacts on our environment. So the next time you see a raindrop falling from the sky or a river flowing through a valley, remember the amazing journey that water has taken to get there. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time. But before you go, you can consider following us on Instagram where you get early post updates behind the info footages and also you get to see how Ellipse works. Also you can follow us on Cura, link is in description where you can ask any question and it will be answered by the students or teachers present there. And at last, subscribe to our YouTube channel for these types of videos. Bye.